Hello everyone, this is Veen here, and I'm just going to be giving my quick overview of the Wildstar beta. Now, this has just started uh, a couple of days ago, and I've played about uh, maybe 10 to 12 hours so far, and it's so far it's proving to be a really enjoyable experience. Um, so, let's just sort of get into little bits and pieces. Um, first of all, you can sort of see that the um, effect or the uh, the style that they've gone for is uh, very much that of a cartoon. Um, like it seriously looks like a Saturday morning cartoon that you might have seen when you were well, when I was you know six years old or something. But um, overall, yeah, I actually really really like this cartoony aesthetic that they've gone for. It's um, the entire sort of theme of the game is very much um, built around the sort of whole idea of fun and sarcasm. I mean, a lot of the quest messages that you get um, occasionally throughout are very much dramatic, like the last two minutes, like, will they survive this terrible curse or something like that, you know? Um, so I do love that. And um, I'm just going to try and get rid of this... Uh, Let's see if we can get rid of this uh, combat log because I'm not a real big fan of it. Oops. Ah. So yeah, there are some errors um, in this open beta. Um, so it's not perfect. So I'm just going to turn that off. And um, so yeah, there have been some bugs. But uh, back to the original point. Um, the character designs are all really nice. I'm playing an Orin Stalker. Um, so the character designs have been absolutely phenomenal. The um, animations are really really nice um it's particularly the combat one so let's see if i can get quick get into combat okay here we go so uh because i'm playing a stalker i can jump straight into stealth which is a so a stalker is effectively a rogue character so i can jump into stealth um the best thing is i can jump into stealth in combat and oh hang on that's yeah so that's not kind of not work he's got his health back for some reason but that's okay oops um now you could, might have seen that little red circle on the ground, and more specifically, you'll see the sort of circles in front. Um, all the combat in this game is telegraphed. So you have to actually, so instead of something like WoW, where you um, point and click and then all the attacks basically hit, you have to sort of actually try and um, aim your attacks. So this one is uh, a cone of effect. Uh, similarly with this one, although that one, yeah, this one's slightly narrower. Let's see if we can get a better spot to sort of demonstrate that. Yeah, so you can sort of see that one is there, and that one's slightly larger. This is your basic attack. Um, and then you've got other ones, yep. And then this one's a direct line of sight in front of you, and then that one's a sort of an all-around you attack. So, um, not only do you have to telegraph your attacks, your enemies will also telegraph their attacks. So let's see if we can get an example of that as well. Hopefully I won't kill him too quick. Get back here. Oops. Ow. There we go. I'm just going to try and... Yeah, see, he's... um. You can sort of see that attack was... I had a pale circle and then followed by a um, expanding circle to let you know when you need to get out of it by. And these... Um, it's not just simple circle shapes. I've seen squares inside circles. Um, there's a whole sort of variety of different styles of a telegraphing attacks that the enemies will use um, to create their attacks that, which you have to avoid, which makes it really, really interesting. Um, certainly makes it a little bit more strategic than sort of jumping around, but I do like, I really do like the telegraphing attacks. It works really, really nicely. Um, yeah, and it's a lot of fun to play actually, particularly when you're sort of jumping around and trying to evade them and then uh, particularly me, because I'm having to. My impale does more damage if I'm behind the enemy or in stealth, so I'm constantly trying to get behind the enemy and um, use that ability. So that's a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, you can see the cartoon aesthetic is really, really nice. Um, there are, like I said, there have been a few bugs. Um, a couple of my quests aren't quite working out as planned. I suspect that's a bug there. That craft schematic 610 not found. Uh, but this is open beta, although, and they do need, it's coming out in a few weeks, three, four weeks, I think, end of March, early June, I believe, if I remember correctly. So, um, yeah, I think this is actually, um, I haven't really touched the, uh, there won't be any end game to test in the open beta, um, 
just purely because they're not going to get that far. The level cap's at 30 for the open beta, so there's going to be no information about the end game. But I am hoping that it has um, a little bit more focus. Um, I recently stopped playing Elder Scrolls Online. Um, I did enjoy Elder Scrolls, but I found that the uh, lack of end game, or more accurately, the having to replay the enemy, uh, the other factions through to get your veteran ranks up was just more annoying and more irritating than it was worth. So instead, um, I am hoping that this game will actually have a bit more in-game, but from what I've read, it actually should be a lot better. It has a lot more focus on the, uh, t uh, the Holy Trinity dynamic of the tank, the healer, and the... Uh, the tank, the healer, and the damage dealer. So um, now there's a few. There's six classes at the moment. There's uh, warrior, engineer, a stalker, a sorcerer, and I think a couple of others. And um, like I said, I'm playing the stalker class. So if we go into my action set builder, this is sort of how you get your abilities. Now each one has um, three tiers. So there's a um, assault, support, and utility. Now these can all be purchased at any time, um, so by the end of the game you should be able to actually purchase all of these abilities, and they all do various things, so this is my AOE, like I said, this is my AOE, this is my Analyze Weakness, so now I'm focusing very heavily in support, I'm not really bothering with the tanking class, um, I suspect because this is open beta and this is probably going to get wiped, so I'm not really bothering with that, I probably should be learning because I am going to go tank, I prefer tanking in games, so, um, but... Uh, so each one has an ability, so which sort of acts that you can unlock at various levels. But the important thing is this sort of um, horizontal one, where uh, basically, obviously, at every level you can increase this, so it goes up to forty-five. I think the level cap is going to be around fifty. I think. Um, so every level you get an extra point to spend in your one of your abilities, and this sideways only unlocks at level ten. And so uh, it improves the ability. So you're not going to have enough points to max out every ability that you own, but you can at least uh, you can improve each one as necessary. So that one does plus four damage, and then when I get to tier eight, generates suit two suit power for every one second for five seconds. Um, and support. So this is more of a uh, a tanky sort of one. It's got a it's got a, f a couple of abilities that generate threat. Uh, where is if I can find an example here. Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Whiplash generates 25% threat. So, um, Stalker can be a tank. It's more of an invasion tank. It's not a it's a, not a heavy hitter. Uh, it doesn't take heavy hits. It just dodges them, basically. Um, as I understand it, anyway. But that seems to be the way, because I can only really equip medium armor instead of heavy. Um, and then you've got your path, which is basically your sort of subgroup. So, I chose scientist, so I'm having to scan everything. But there's soldier. There's... Oh, uh, there's a couple of us, historian or something maybe, and architect, I think. I can't remember, honestly. Um, but this one just, yeah, basically I have to, because I'm a scientist, I run around scanning things, and then when you max out your scientists, you can sort of, um, you get some extra abilities. Um, these are ones that are specific to the scientist. Uh, the warrior has uh, HP and regeneration and a couple of other bits. So um, the other thing with this is the amps. Now, like I said, I've gone very heavily in support, so you can sort of see here that uh, I've increased, yeah, this one increases my assault power by 2.5% of your current maximum. This one increases my critical hit chance. Um, but then there's sort of these hybrids. So this is would be a hybrid assault support, so it's got some various different abilities, increases lifesteal, uh, strike through chances, uh, support, and so you've got this range of different things, and then, which is really, really cool. So yeah, that's the how, that's how you sort of build your characters. Now obviously there's, yeah, most, when you first choose your class, um, obviously some, unless you play human, you're, uh, if you're an alien, play an alien race, you're restricted to some classes. Uh, but most of them have a dual role, so you can, when you choose them, I, when I saw um, the store class, it said tank damage dealer, but some have damage dealer, healer. Uh, funnily enough, none of them have tank healer. Uh, but, um, but yeah, so that's the various different ways. Um, now the game is seamless, so there's no loading from zone to zone, it's all sort of one area. Um, it's been really, really nice, and the 
so it's a, it's not like um, which is again plays a bit more like World of Warcraft. So you're not sort of um, having constant loading screens, which I think was an issue with again with Elder Scrolls Online, that it um, constantly tried to. Uh, because you had to keep jumping from zone to zone, there was a few loading screens. It was a bit annoying, but not not enough to sort of ruin it. Obviously, because I was I got up to level fifty and finished it off. But um, yeah, the fact that there's been no loading screens since the first, apart from like when you're in space, because there is uh, when you first introduce, at least in the rebel um, uh, group, you're you're at, you're on the ship to start with, and then you. Uh, come down to this planet. So apart from that, everything has been really good. Um, the yeah, the, there's no been no scenes. There's been no loading screens. It's been just I'm not sure what that is, but okay. Um, no, it's been really really good. So yeah, um, what do I think of this overall? Overall, I think this has got some really good potential. Um, I'm was when I first played this at PAX East in oh would have been not twenty in twenty. 12, I think? No. 2013. What am I on about? Yeah, 2013. Oh, wow, it's been that long. Uh, when I first played this at PAX East, I have to admit I wasn't that impressed. I played about five minutes. Um, I think that was purely because um, at the time, I wasn't really keen on MMOs because my old laptop was crap. Um, I wasn't going to be playing it. I was actually going to be playing Elder Scrolls Online on the console which, uh, given what I know now and what's happened with the console release date, I'm probably much better off. Um, it's been... I'm actually really impressed. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it, particularly with the store class, but I'm going to probably jump to the warrior, potentially the engineer, because the engineer has the notion of a range tank, which I find quite interesting, but I suspect I may very well just go for the straight-out warrior tank. Um just to have a, you know, go for what I normally do as my main and then have a, a sorcerer or a stalker class, because I am actually having a lot of fun with the stalker class um, as my ult. Um, so yeah, I, I am actually having a lot of fun with this. I suspect I will probably pre-order it. Um, I'm going to play it through the open beta some more, uh, get, you know, get the, enjoy the full 10 days, and then if I'm still enjoying it, I should probably hit the level cap, because I'm level 12 at the moment. I've only been playing about 10 to 12 hours, so over the next week or so, Hopefully I'll hit level 30, and then um, once that's uh, once the open beta is done, I probably will pre-order it to be honest, because it uh, it is a very good it is proving to be a very good game. So I do highly recommend it. Um, if you haven't checked it out, uh, do check out the open beta. Um, it's app doesn't cost you it costs you sorry costs you absolutely nothing, and. Um, it's just um, yeah, it's a good way. It's a good game to play. If you don't like it, so be it. Who cares? Um, but if you do, then yeah, I do highly recommend it. So check it out and um, play more games.